as Canada's longest serving Chief Justice and the first woman in the role, Beverly McLaughlin has presided over some of the nation's most important cases. Throughout her career, she has striven to ensure the primacy of the rule of law and has promoted impartiality, equality, and access to justice for all. From 1974 to 1981, she served as an associate professor in the Peter A. Allard School of Law at the University of British Columbia. She was appointed Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of BC in 1988, and seven months later, she was sworn in as a Justice of the Supreme Court of Canada. At a gala dinner in honor of her retirement in 2017, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau characterized Beverly McLaughlin as someone who speaks with conviction and, more than that, listens with compassion. She is a consummate Canadian, someone who wants to build a better world and is willing to work very, very hard to make it happen. She has received over 35 honorary degrees from UBC and other universities throughout the world and numerous other honors and awards, including the Order of Canada. My time at UBC as a professor provided a real formation for me uh, when I was asked to be a judge because I had, I'd had the time to reflect, I'd had the time to actually teach a number of different subjects so I understood different aspects of the law and it turned out to have been the, the perfect launching pad and I've uh, had great fondness for UBC and particularly the Faculty of Law ever since. And a lot of women have said to me that they found the fact that I was just there as uh, a teacher, a lawyer, one of a very few women judges in the beginning, uh, the uh, first female Chief Justice of Canada. That role model aspect of just being there was something I had totally failed to appreciate until much later in my life. When one starts thinking about what you can do for others, uh, that you really uh, start uh, on your, your path uh, to uh, achieving your goals and to achieving things that give you a lot of satisfaction in life. What you can do for yourself ultimately won't give you that much satisfaction. What you can do for others lays the groundwork for, 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 for truly um, true success in, in every sense of the word.